Hi, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm James Yukich. Um, I go to University of Wollongong. What is a major issue that you have faced? Um, a major issue I've faced was the complications around my dad and him leaving. I guess you could call it domestic abuse, whether verbal, physical, emotional. Do you consider him a bad person? Yes. And why is that? Because of the way he treated us. I guess the easiest way is to say that he made our life hell. Every day we had to be aware of what we would say to him, or what we didn't say, what we'd do, and what we didn't do. I wish I told him how I felt at the time, because I never really told him how I was upset with how he treated us, and how I thought it was disgusting and pathetic. What would you um, do if you saw him again? I don't know. I'm pretty split on what I'd do. I'd either completely ignore him or tell him how I feel. Do you ever think about him? From time to time, yeah. When he first left the first week, I didn't think about him at all. I thought I was doing fine until I broke down the second week. A couple months later, he started messaging me and I ignored those messages. And then he kept messaging me until I blocked most of them. I don't really think about him that much now. How did you feel when he left? I felt a sense of relief. There used to be these periods where he would leave for days on end and we'd finally be able to be ourselves. So it felt like that, but a lot longer. And unlike those times, we wouldn't have to fear him coming back. Being in the centre of that situation, how did you deal with it? I guess understanding who was really important to me at that time, which was my mum and my brother almost, and my friends and any other family I may have had. Music was a big influence in helping me. I also had teachers that helped me focus on my work and look towards the goals that I should set in life. Did you have a special teacher? Uh, yes, I had one teacher who approached me right after my dad left and we sat down and he talked about how he was in a similar situation and how he was able to deal with it, how important goals are in your life and priorities and focusing your time and not letting things that in the past or things that in the present consume you. Would it have changed anything if that teacher wasn't there for you? Yeah, definitely a lot because at the time I was really not orientated towards focusing on my work at school so he was a major lift towards my studies. So it was good to have someone who wasn't just a friend but someone who was outside who knew what it was like to help me through that time. Do you have any good memories with your father? Yeah, I have heaps of good memories. Um, we used to go on trips a lot, went to Port Macquarie, Coffs Harbour, Queensland, and all of those are really good memories. I had one memory that was not really recent, but one of the last ones I remember was him taking me to where he worked because it's at a wharf so we could go fishing. I asked him that day if he actually did love me. And what did he say? He said he loved me. Another memory I had was I used to have these night terrors. I have no idea why, but my bed is really close to my wall, so I would constantly knock myself to the other side of the wall and hit my face and stuff like that. But uh, the part of the story that was funny or nice was that my uh, dad, he was a night shift worker, so he would always leave around 11 or 12 at night and go to work and then come back uh, around morning or noon. And one night I had a night terror and I hit my face in the wall and I smashed my nose pretty hard. And he heard and he came over and he kissed me on the head and said that he was going to work and wanted to make sure if I was okay. The last thing he said to me, I can't remember the exact words, but I remember the day. It was right before one of my exams at school and he was really angry. I can't remember why. And he just told us to shut the fuck up. For you, did him leaving seem like the only solution? Yes. I mean, we constantly went between different solutions. Not me personally, but my mom. And I tried helping her, seeing what other ways there was to go about it. And we fought about giving him space, but over 18 years, the majority of it was being spaced away from him. Then we fought about going counselling. But then when we asked him, he said that we were the only ones that had problems and not him so he didn't want to go. So, yes, I think the only way for it to be solved was for him to leave.
What advice would you have given your younger self? When I was younger, I used to think what he did was acceptable. So I would definitely would have told myself that it wasn't acceptable. In some way, I needed to speak up a bit more because I hid some stuff from my mum, like him hitting me. Go for walks more often, get breaths of air, not stressed and inside the same house as he was. Speak to people about it. I didn't tell anyone about it, basically, until he left. You regret not telling anyone? Yeah. You used to think, and it's with a lot of problems, that it's unique to yourself. But then when you speak to some people, you speak to people, you realise that a lot of people go through the same. How would you help someone that was dealing with this same problem? I would tell them that I've went through it, and my experiences with it, that it is common, it's not something that's unique, that he or she doesn't have to go through it alone, that there's people to help, services to help them with, like advice and strategies on how I coped with it, which, like I said, was music, hanging out with friends and stuff like that. Do you ever miss him? I don't. I miss the memories I shared with him, and I miss the idea of having a father, but I do not miss him. Is the problem still affecting your life? Uh, not me directly. I had counselling up to two to three years ago, but whilst my mum is handling it pretty well, my brother is not, and he's been going through a lot of different stuff. It's clearly affected him and still is affecting him. So that affects me a lot, and it's really, really bad. Thank you for sharing. So.